my faith compels me to see that payday lending is hurting our communities and to act in such a way that reform is allowed and encouraged so that payday lending is a help and not a hurt. Ohio was the epicenter of payday lending abuse across the nation. Ohio had the highest priced payday loans in the nation. Now it has among the lowest. And now folks are seeing that we can do it in Ohio so we can do it anywhere. In Virginia, this was never a partisan issue. Once we started the helpline, we heard from a lot of borrowers about all of the horrible things that were happening. We were able to take real stories and real situations to decision makers and educate legislators. It helped us create better solutions to the problems as we moved forward. The same companies that are operating in Kansas are also operating in states that have passed payday lending reform. They are still profitable in the other states where these reforms are working, but the difference is the people who borrow them are protected. Even though payday lenders said they would leave the state of Ohio, since reform, a quarter million loans have been made in the state of Ohio in 2020. Credit is available for citizens who need it the most. They need to know when they go into these stores that they're not being taken advantage of. That's what House Bill 123 did. In Virginia, since the law went into effect, borrowers have, have saved $200 million that money gets spent here in state to local businesses, to big businesses, to all businesses. After reform, we were able to move from that same borrower paying $600 just in fees to borrow that $500 to paying just around $200 in fees to borrow that same $500. For most borrowers, that was a $400 savings and they could feel that in their pocketbooks. They can actually afford to repay the loans. What we are advocating for are basic reforms access to funding through payday lending, but with the same consumer protections and safeguards that have been so effective in other states. Since Colorado enacted reform, Ohio, Virginia, Hawaii have all followed. In that time, we've saved taxpayers over $1 billion in fees and interest. People are getting out of debt and they're not stuck in a cycle where they're just paying fees on a loan and never paying it off. Those who are hurting financially are not being taken advantage of and that money is staying in their pocket so they can spend it the way they want, how they want. That's a success. Mm -hmm.